Well, let's jump in. Hey everyone, welcome back to Jurassic Cup 8. Gonna continue our coverage of Group D because I'm really interested in who emerges from this one. This, I think, is for all the marbles, if I'm not mistaken. As it's Cable versus Romper Frolic. Because, let's see, we watched Cable versus Shrike, he lost those. We watched Shrike versus Romper Frolic, and Shrike won both of those. So if Cable loses these, Cable is out, and if Cable wins these, Romper Frolic is out. So this is a pretty big uh, match here then, obviously. Both of these games really matter. If they get resolved by Ty, Romper Frolic would win, um, because he had the initial seed. So, Romper Frolic, I'm pretty sure if I if I'm counting this correctly, all he needs to do is win one game here, uh, and he will advance to the upper bracket. And if he loses both, then it will be Cable instead. And honestly, they could both do it. I I, I believe both of these players could win this. So, this is gonna be really fun to watch. Uh, Rompa going for Sandskimmer Fab off the bat, and then uh, a couple salves being produced. Um. Base runner out here on the middle is going to throw this uh, scanner. He does catch the production cruisers. This seems like a pretty interesting scanner position. It worked for him here. Only problem is, of course, he doesn't retire it, so that means that he is going to have a uh, eco disadvantage when it comes to like this fight, so that means that Cable should have his tech faster. Cable just now finishing up the salves, though, uh, but I guess Rompa is as well. So yeah, Cable should have a little bit more money than Rompa Frolic. That is indeed what we see here. That means Cable can get up to tech faster if he wants it. He could go for soul chips right now, or he could try and wait for a uh, railgun fab. The tiebreaker is by initial seeding. So because Rompa Frolic had played in Dracky Cups previous, he has a higher seed number than uh, than Cable. And if they have the equal seed number, then it's tied by uh, registration order. So looks like Cable is going for soul chip fab here. Rompa Frolic, meanwhile, still hasn't decided yet. What's his uh, RU situation like? He's at 100 now, so this is about when he could go for Soul Chips if he wants to do that as well. But he's he's typically a rail player, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see that. But he's also getting Fleet Cap 45, which is going to delay things further. I think you you know you don't need to have tech instantly in a GVG, but like you do need to have it pretty quick. Um, if you win the uh, the Sand Skimmer fight in the beginning, that can pay dividends for you if your tech is a little bit later. But if it's just kind of tied like this, you know, no no resolution yet. Uh, you really need to be going for tech, but Cable might lose a skin here. Doesn't though. Pretty good control there. Rump Frog going for Sandskimmer Ratings. Now he's spending RUs on upgrades here. This is a little bit worrisome. But Cable could still win. Uh, or sorry, Cable could still lose this uh, if he uses the Assault Chips poorly. If he drives them out in the middle and then they get killed by skins or something like that. But the numbers are definitely in Cable's si or No, not the numbers. The tech is definitely in Cable's side here. He's got the better army. At least he will once he builds those Assault Chips. He needs to be a little careful here, because these skins are going to be up on high ground. <laughs> Uh-oh, yeah, yeah, okay, he's taking a high ground fight here, this is not great. Trades one for two. He's going to need to get that armored unit defenses upgrade as well, but obviously he wants to keep building them too, so it's a little tough to decide. He should move out though, because now that he's got the assault ship, he has the kingmaker on the field essentially, right? So he wants to push here, he doesn't want to sit back and let this extract. He may it might be too late already though, I think Cable is going to let this artifact get out. But if he can wipe the army afterward, it's still okay, and Rompa, no sign of tech. This is insane, actually. He is gonna look like... Yeah, oh, okay, Rompa's actually gonna chicken out here. I think he could've gotten this extract out, but he's gonna back away. Defenses 1 is coming out, and now Cable should push, because now he's got a really, really good army here for this fight. And he is pushing, good. Armor 1 is done. I'd love to see him bring this PC forward as well, just to get that frontline production too. These soul chips, yeah, the skims have high ground, but they don't really care. Once the skims come in, the uh, the skims from Cable want to trade in as well. That artifact is going to extract. Now, we do have base runner heal available, though. That's, like, the one thing we're probably just got in this fight. I don't know how much of a difference it would make. Base runner taking damage, but Cable's backing away again. He really needs to push out here. He wants to take control of the, of the map right now and bring his PC out. If he can get this up in his opponent's face and his opponent doesn't have tech yet... He is winning so hard. And indeed, ref mode before tech. Madman. That's like insanity. Are you kidding me? He's going for it. <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I don't know. If, if Cable chooses to push... Hey, look at that move order. If Cable chooses to push here, he pretty much is going to win, I think. Because this is like insane greed from Rumpa. I, I can't believe. Skim's going to harass this base runner. Might even be able to kill it before uh, Rumpa's skims can arrive to defend. Soul Chips see them as well, so... But Cable probably gonna want to kill this and then just run away. Now, Rompa has raiding and Cable doesn't, so he is gonna be faster. 
I should back quite a bit. No, but this is gonna cause him to back away. He needs to go out. Go out, go out, go out, go out. If you go here, you win the game. If you go here, you lose. This is like, this is the moment of truth for Cable. And he's making the wrong call. Getting distracted by this army here, which is not going to be able to kill his army, right? Like, he's he's fine. He's not gonna die to this. But Rampa will die if he sends these assault ships over here. This is like, game over. Oh, this is crippling. Ah, oh, Cable's like, right there on, on like, seeing what he needs to do to win this, but... Well, they won't kill the carrier, yeah, but they'll kill, like... They'll kill all the cells on the second base and then hold them on one base for so long, and then Cable will be on, like, three by the time he gets back onto two. And at that point, like, it's really bad for the for the player who got held. Yeah, exactly. He can build more AS at home, but Rampa can only build skims at home, but you're not going to stop the assault ships. So, yeah, he definitely wanted to push out there. He had the he had the push, but he didn't take it. And he's not abysmally far behind, as you can see. Ref mode is done for him now. So, I mean, he'll probably build another PC pretty soon too. But this is pretty yike. He needs to still be proactive on the field with these assault ships, though. Maybe if he can try and stop that artifact, that'd be really nice for him. Base runner drops the scanner as well over here. That's a really nice position because he'll see if the skims are coming in behind him. Assault ships finally starting to swing their weight, but there are some railguns out now. They're only assaults though, so it is still possible if Rampa messes up a bit of micro that he could kill them. But they will probably hold off this push. Well, yeah, but he could just build more at home. Uh, he would have had him in time. Like, if, if he gets pushed back onto one base two, that's okay. He didn't even have ref mode yet, right? So he's not losing that much. Um, but if Rompa gets pushed back onto two base, it's probably game over. Oh yeah, man. Just get in there and slug him. Oh. Yeah, like this, like this, exactly. Yeah, so Rompa's moved these guys just a little bit too close. One of them goes down already. He might catch the second one, but... No, it doesn't look like he'll get- Oh my gosh, what is this- What is this unit control? He's gonna catch this too. Ah! Oh no. So he's gonna lose both of the ARs. He's behind this hill too, so he can just kill these skins with impunity if he gets up on this high ground. Oh jeez. This is going from bad to worse for Rompa. Look at this. Skins getting in there and they just get jibbed. He could even stick around and kill that assault rail if he wants it, but this is maybe a good choice as well. Keeps these assault chips alive. Let's make sure you don't move out of the dune there. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, that one's gonna die. But he could kill this assault rail right now. Yeah, it looks like he sees it. Oh, jeez. Second PC is on the way as well. Yeah, and this is good too. He wants to actually back away to keep this guy off of high ground, but... As you can see, it's not really a terribly close fight. By the way, Dart Maneuver is teched. I didn't... I didn't notice that. He did that in the other games as well, so that's kind of interesting. Oh. Yoink. He's gonna grab that one, uh, that one away, which is very, very nice for him. Base runner heal out here just to buy a little bit of time. It's always a good move, uh, but this guy really needs to head back home now. Um... Carrier move out? What? Oh my gosh. Well, I didn't see this coming at all. So, Rompo's actually moving out with his carrier now, so he's gonna try and make this like a power play. I guess the, with the three base runners, that was his idea. Cable could die to this. The question is like how fast does he scout? He sees it right now with the skin, so he should be getting rail tech immediately and then going to power one, and he's got a lot of money too. Well, he probably needs fleet cap first, but yeah, rail tech is the answer when you see this. If your opponent is ever going to rail rush you, you just want to get rail tech fast as you can. Assault rails, though, they're really supposed to beat assault ships, you know what I mean? So this is unfortunate to see. It's clearly just a bit of bad unit control. Yeah, okay, Railfab is on the way. Now, as for Cable getting this artifact out, that might be a fantasy. Um, but, I mean, he'll he'll repel this carrier push just fine. And at that point, Rompa won't really have anything going for him anymore. You can see he's already pushed off of second base. Uh, and it's difficult for Rails to win the push against the uh, assault. He has three PCs, what? I don't know why he's built another PC here. Those things cost our use. If he wanted carrier power, that's the wrong move. And he can't produce off of one base, let alone two base, right? So, wants to get behind this hill, maybe. Well. Nice, he does confirm that kill. 
Rumpus Carrier getting closer though. He may be able to shovel an artifact out with that carrier in that aggressive position. The thing is just that once Cable has enough heavy rails, it's not going to matter. Because unless your carrier is really powered, you can't just ignore rail games, right? This is so good from Cable though. He's just holding his opponent... Like, he, he can't commit his army to like help with anything, right? Like, he has to be back here on the base, and then his carrier is just kind of alone, right? This is exactly what he wants to do. And what, what you need to do to punish people who go for these carrier pushes where they move everything all to one side, right, is that you need to uh, come and attack them where they aren't. Come and attack them at their base where they've left, right? And on the front, apparently, because like he can even like maybe stop the space runner, but it's hard to say. Interceptor tech coming out, though, but he really needs rail. Oh, no. He just he just needs to build railguns, right? Because railguns counter everything very nicely on the field right now. It's very good if he can stop this space runner from getting out, but... Oh, dear. Oh. But, like, yeah, he needs railguns to stop this carrier. Assault ships are not going to do it. He nearly caught it. <laughs> 420. That's pretty good. 420 HP. you love to see it. Rumpa gonna try to set up third base then now. A lot of ARs being built, but it's just it's just so sad to see he's got the rail tech which would save him, but he isn't building it. Um, and rails are just like so good against assault rails as well because if you can outrange them right, then they don't really have anything against you. Ooh. Whoever has the range advantage kind of decides where the fights take place, right? So if you have the range advantage against the railguns. Uh, you have like a lot of initiative on the field, basically. I guess that's kind of how I would how I would describe this. That's why, like, obviously assault ships can kill assault rails too, but I would usually say they shouldn't, right? Because the assault rail player has to make a mistake and get too close. Um, and then, like, railguns can be killed by assault rails, but they shouldn't because the rail player would have to make a mistake and get too close. Like this, for example. He's gonna dart to get out, but he's already lost like two of them. I don't know. That's the thing, like, Assault Rails should not be losing to Assault Ships, right? They're faster, they have more range, and they have very good damage against armor, so... You hate to see it. And it is Air Tech coming out now for, uh, Cable. He's gonna move his PC onto that main base, so he's unlocked here. But what he really needs, and he's got the money for it, like, heaven knows he's got the money for it. Look at this float here. He needs Railguns. That's, like, so important for him to have right now. Although, Assault Ship Armor 3, very good tech as well, right? Because... Obviously, he needs uh, he needs these guys to survive, but um, precision bombers. But like railguns would just be so good here. They're they're definitely kind of a must-have. Rumpa, by the way, could extract this, but again, he's a little too afraid. Oh, he's not sure if he's afraid or not. <laughs> uh oh, there's actually no unit building on the backside now, so the skins are attacking the carrier. What the? What are you? Uh, okay. <laughs> Power 4 is on the way, it looks like, for all, but... Well, that's the thing, he had to get rail tech to deal with it, right? So then he has rail tech, but then he doesn't use it, he, he just builds more assault ships. Whereas, if imagine if he had, like... Because he's got the money for, like, 8 assault uh, heavy railguns, right? So imagine if he had this assault ship army at home, right? But he also had eight railguns here. Like, this would be... This would be so bad for Rompa. Like, there's nothing that he could do. These assault rails would melt like like butter. If they get up close, the assault ships kill them. If they're far away, the, the railguns kill them. Uh, these skins would be the only problem, but of course, uh... It, I don't know. Oh no, don't, don't build skins to counter. So you, when, when your opponent has, like, a unit type on your base, and you need to build something to counter, you've got to build a counter, right? So you can't just build skins, because you have to stack up then, you're, not, you're never going to get as many skins as he has. So you should just build, uh... You should just build assault ships, right? This backstab is good, though, and it's distracted every single assault railgun on the pile somehow. Also, this, this attack, like, on the PC is maybe not the best, because he will kill it, maybe, but... Well, actually, it's pretty good in that case. Bombers are out, though, so Cable has options to stop this base burner. Oh my gosh, if he stops this one, it's big though, because he really does not want to bring this down to one artifact being the difference. He does stop this one, that's really good. He loses a PC though, um, but his opponent is being taken off main base. Well, I don't think he can, because he's got bombers as well. Um, 
But yeah, the bombers really kind of have to be tasked to kill off this, uh, like these base runners, because if he extracts, obviously that's just game over. But so much money. I mean, you've got to use that money. And you've got to stop this base runner too. That's like a must have. Oh, jeez. The longer this goes on, the more uncomfortable I get. Attacking the eco. No, 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 no. You've got to be here. You've got to be here. Okay, at least use the bombers, right? Uh oh, uh oh, he's just suiciding the interceptors too. They can't kill PCs on their own like this. Please, please bomb him. Oh my gosh. Okay, bombers are launching finally. Interceptors are gonna go down though. But look at all this money. This is like 10 heavy railguns that he could have. No, no, not the carrier. You gotta kill the base runner. Okay. Okay, good. Rumpa's gonna stop and use base runner heal? What? <laughs> are you. What's he doing? <laughs> he could have extracted this, right? What the heck? <laughs> oh no, okay, he's finally building heavy rails. That's really, really good for him now. <laughs> he stops and uses base runner heal. But like, what? <laughs> You've gotta be joking, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so Assault Ships should move up through the mid now. They don't know about this backstab though, so hopefully the skins find this in a moment. Heavy Rails can stop this, but it's gonna be tricky, because this is good terrain for the Assault Rails. Okay, he sees it now. Carrier can stop it too, but also the Bombers, so if he just gets the Bombers in there. But that means that the Assault Ships really can't come here. They've gotta come here and stop this Artifact Pressure. Uh, right, I mean, otherwise he may, he may just lose the game. Oh gosh, this PC is just getting chunked. Yeah, it's already dead. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know it was going to do that much damage, holy goodness. <laughs> it killed them all in one hit. <laughs> That's pretty snazzy. I love the little missile ship barrage there, trying to take these guys out. I didn't I didn't see that coming, that was quite surprising. But yeah, uh, Rampa does not have any heavy rails, so what Cable needs, he's got a huge float, so he can, he can build for days, he needs another PC probably even. And then he just needs to build like heavy rails and... He needs heavy rails and assault ships, and a lot of them, and he needs to stop this next artifact from extracting. If he can kill this base runner, that's really, really big for him. He's focusing on the assault rails for now, though. Yeah, yeah, if he, he can just kill this base runner, that'd be really good for him to do. Uh oh. Oof. No, no, you've gotta stick in there, because if this base runner is alive, then he's on artifact point here, this is four. Oh, jeez. That and more units. Oh dear, he's queued them all up on one because of fleet cap. Uh oh, no, cable! You can do it! Well, he hasn't really got the units to entrench. He's got anti air, but cable's army is much better. The only problem is that carrier, right? Power 5, by the way, on the queue now. Oh man. These uh, idle cells, by the way, really need to get mining on second base. Rompa gonna romp. Yeah, that, that's that's the truth. What the heck? How did the salvager get here? <laughs> well, yes and no. It, it depends on positioning. If he shows up close to the... Yeah, he can solo them from this distance. But if they were at max range, uh, Cable would actually win that. Yeah, these rails are not really going to be able to push anymore, though. He's just, he's waited too long, right? This is four artifacts, power four. It's a lot of carrier power. If, if the bomber can, like, find this base render, though, he can still, like, stall the game out a little bit, right? That's what he's going to need to do. This is getting tougher all the time, though. And now that the missile ship, uh, the missile barrage is ready for Rampa, that's not going to help anything, right? Siege cruiser fat. What the? <laughs> well, that 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 doesn't seem terribly. Oh my gosh. What, what are you? You have this like super valuable ability, and you like waste it on the base that's not even mining anymore. I just don't understand. It's whatever though, because this artifact is gonna get out, so the bomber wasn't even launched. And Rompa's gonna take the game. Oh, but Cable had so many chances to punish him here. That's such a pity. Like with the assault ships, if they moved across, and then also the rail, like if. Once he got rail tech, he should have built them. 
and then force that carrier out, you know, make him leave. Because if the carrier wasn't in the midfield, this never would have happened. Not to mention, rails and assault ships would have been so good against uh, Rampa's assault rails, and then he can still go air if he likes, but he doesn't even really need it at that point. Still made it entertaining though, so let's move on to game two. But unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that means that Cable is moving to lower bracket for his first tournament, but... Like I said, that's not exactly entirely unusual, so... Yeah, exactly, right? Just a few different choices, he would have, he would have, he would have won this one. Gazian territory is gonna be the next map. Same factions. Uh, Cable this time uh, having the pick, so he's gonna be the one who picks Gazian territories here. Rumble Frolic, meanwhile, uh, it looks like ref mode first, but from what we've seen so far, it probably won't be. He's oversaturating, actually. Oh, no, is he gonna do this again? If he goes for skimmer tech and then goes for ref mode, I swear I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna eat my shorts. <laughs> Sitting all over them. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was about to sneeze, but it, like, it wouldn't come. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> Production Cruiser Refinery Mode is on the way for Cable now. He's moving his carrier a little bit too far out here. You want to just back it up just a tad. And then Skimmer Fad starting is probably what he'll do next, but he actually built one salve here. Oh, and he dropped the debt pack too, so a moderate amount of greed. He has the scanner out here though, but Rolfus carrier is actually dodging detection. That's pretty funny. You might be able to tell by the layout of the salvagers, though, that there's a carrier that they're around, but it's a little hard to see. So he might not actually know, but it is going to be some kind of... some kind of build from Rampa. I don't know, I've never even seen this before, so if the caster doesn't know what Rampa's doing, there's no way that he does. Um, I swear, if he clicks on ref mode, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be mad. Meanwhile, ref mode for Cable, done in just a couple seconds here. Okay, I'm gonna be more mad if he clicks on nothing, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, it's real fab. Um, <laughs> not a huge flow dot. Oh yeah, he just got the requisite number of RUs for it, so. But, you know, no skimmers were produced, and skimmer fab is gonna be done for Cable in a couple seconds, so really, the army is equal. And, uh, Cable obviously has much more, much more, uh, economy than Rampa does, so. Oh, and he even... <laughs> you went to this place instead of this place. Yeah, so on the new layouts, we can't change anything about the terrain, whatever, and these things here are actually part of the terrain file, so, like, we can't, um... What the heck? Yeah, we can't move these things. So, the artifacts don't actually spawn on them. There's unfortunately just nothing we can do about it. So it's gonna be rail... push from Rompa? You can't really call it a rush. Uh, but Cable with one artifact out is going to feel decently comfortable, I'd say, holding against it. Second PC is already on the way, so he'll have much more, much more unit production. Extraction comes out, and then he probably just wants to hit heal the delay. Yep, he is going to do that, um, just to slow his opponent down a little bit. Uh, because otherwise they won't be evenly spaced. So on the vanilla Gaussian territories, one player spawns here, one player spawns here, so these are evenly spaced between them. But on this one, uh, this is the even spacing, so... It looks a little bit ugly, but it, it plays better. Oh my, I thought that was a heavy rail. He might actually still kill this. Because obviously Assault Rail is not going to do great when they have to, like, rotate. Yeah. So he catches this Assault Rail for free. Second PC is done. He's going to go for Rail Fab himself, because he knows he needs to... He needs to fight Rampa's rails. Two PC production means he's gonna have sand skimmers coming out of his ears, right? Um, rail fab is done, so he can get heavies as well, and then he'll have the assault rail, the assault rail guns locked down. Yeah, this should really just be kind of done and dusted. And actually, if he moved this carrier out across the field, it'd be kind of crazy, but I'd like it because he could probably just smash his opponent here and like you know counter rush him, basically say, hey, look, you, you don't have anything, so I'm just gonna kill you now. 
Uh, these assault rails can't really fight the carrier at this power. So, yeah, if he wants to, he can just click here. And then, obviously, he's going to stack up a huge number of sand skimmers. But he needs to be careful, though. He wants to have, like, a couple heavy rails. And he is building them. Uh, because otherwise, the assault ships will... Um, the assault ships will... Yeah, they'll do this, right? Like, on the run-up, the sand skimmers are taking damage. So it's very unlikely that they'll take the fight. There's always a little bit of uncertainty there, though, and that tends to favor both players just not engaging. I think if we knew exactly when we would win and when we wouldn't, you'd probably need more sand skimmers than this, but... The thing is, though, that, like, Rampa cannot really match the production here from Cable, so... Cable can just do whatever he wants. Um, and Rampa's getting that second PC out now, but it's it's gonna be a while. Or it's been a while, that is. Like, this, the sand skimmer numbers are already quite out of his favor. Carrier also starting to take some shots on these assault rails, and the sand skims are close. They probably they don't want to take this fight though. Yeah, you want to back away from here. But they survived. None of them died. That rating is really paying for itself here. Now heavy rails are out now, and the heavy rails, of course, will bully the assault rail guns. But yeah, cables move that carrier very far forward, and I like this. He should actually tech into some power reserves too, but he needs the fleet cap first. Scanner comes down. Uh, yeah, these skins might want to clean up that base runner at some point, because obviously it's just going to be annoying that he keeps getting these extractions out. Oh, what the? <laughs> I look away for one second. He's actually on the ARs here, though. I don't know if he wins this fight, though, but he will kill some of them. The thing is that, like, once he has the heavies, those ARs are almost just, like, such a non-issue. Not to mention, Cable's upgrades are much better, so he wins these skimmer fights pretty, pretty handily, right? But the heavies are the ones who should deal with the assault rails. If you see an opportunity to kill them all for free, like, yeah, go ahead and take it, but... Otherwise, he wants to he wants to play it safe, rather than fast. AR is going to get caught here. At least one skim for it, though. Cable still building more heavy rails. At this point, he probably just needs uh, skims, to be honest with you. Rail armor coming up. I don't think he really needs that. I think power is going to be better. Just build as many as many skins as you can and get carrier power up. But yeah, he is rebuilding. No, that's Rampa that's building skins. Rampa with the two artifacts here does have the power lead, but Cable obviously has the railguns in a better position. But don't move him too far. Keep him away. Okay, yeah, good. And also, like, Cable needs to get over- or Rampa needs to get over the hill, but once he, like, goes up this way, he gets carrier blocked in a bad way. This is a kind of tense carrier fight, though. It's actually Rampa coming out on top so far, just with that carrier power. There's more heavy rails where that came from, though, but there's also gonna be more power when the space burner gets out. So, this is actually a little tricky. But, I mean, with, with having more rails, he should win this, so he, I think it's best for him that he pushes the advantage further. Just has to be careful that he doesn't lose his carrier here. And then builds a lot more skins, too, and he's got the upgrade advantage, so he should win that. Yeah, I do see the base runner capping as well. Like I said, he probably wants to stop this, I mean, just, like, send two guys down there, but... Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's getting low. Okay, you need to power up the speed and the heal. But Rampa can't really chase, right, because Rampa would die, too. There's a lot of rails though, Rampa really has to reconsider this. Third artifact is out though, skims need to be here, need to be here. Because those, those skims are pushing from Rampa. The carrier block is not favorable at all. Oh Cable, you've really got to heal this guy up too. He's looking famished. Carrier blocking is really rough for Galzian, because it stops him from shooting too. Cable building more heavies, I, I guess maybe that's not bad, but... I think he needs to really focus on winning the Strikecraft fight and not losing his rails, because if he loses his rails... Oh no, 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 no. This is an overcommit. Ah! Gotta get out of there. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> He's alright for now. Base Runner comes out here, and this might actually save that heavy rail. No, it's dead. Okay, his heavy rail from Rompa gets goes down, but this is gonna be the fourth artifact. And Cable, like, just send, just send, like, two skins down here and deal with it, right? Like... You've got to deal with that base runner eventually, because it's not going to go away. That being said, though, as long as he doesn't lose his carrier here, he's in a really good spot, actually, still. He's 
really gotta power up the healing. It's making me very nervous. Rails are also moving to the low ground here. I really don't like this. Yeah, this carrier's gotta, gotta vacate right now. Okay, he's gonna deal with the base runner, but he's gonna send everything, and then the rails are just gonna die to skims. He can't do that. Okay, yeah, here we go. He splits them up a little bit. That's good. Oh, oh, get out of there! You're gonna die. When the Galzian woman says red alert, you pay attention. Rompus carrier taking a lot of damage, though. There's five heavy rails here now for both players. They both have armor one. That's kind of funny. That's funny because the armor upgrade is the one that doesn't impact rail versus rail fights. But he needs to get the heavies out of here now. Skims coming in. They want to trade. Okay, but he's going to keep them alive for now. He needs to be so careful, though. And this is this is making me nervous, the positioning of his carrier. Oh, gosh. Oh, no! Don't put the carrier in there! He's going to die instantly! Ah! He's doing F2 click, he's put everything on Rompa's carrier. <gasps> but he's gonna get it! One more volley, surely, right? Yes! <laughs> and he takes the carrier out, oh my gosh. What a silly game. Oh man. <laughs> Captain Skimmer, yeah. Estel. <laughs> what the heck was this game, man? That was crazy. Rompa's like on artifact point, that is insane. Like, look, he's sitting here waiting for this one to spawn. A couple things to take away from this though, right? If you're gonna rail rush, you can't do it that slowly. But also, if your opponent is messing up like that and he has a bad build, right? Overwhelm him with skims and take it right to his base. You should, you should push. In GVG, this is very important to know how to like, punish your opponent for like, a bad build. Uh, and then after that, right? You just, you really gotta make sure, um... How do I say? Like, you get the strikecraft superiority and just make sure you don't let those those base runners uh, keep extracting. Like, just send like two guys down, it'll be fine. I went through a phase where I would just have everyone on group two always, but uh, it's it's not good, because then, you know, these guys are just constantly coming back up, so. Hope you learned something though, but that was an enjoyable match. It is gonna be 1-1, but unfortunately, like I said, I think that means Cable doesn't advance. I, I'm gonna check Battlefy though, because I think all that means every game has been played in group D. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so that should be all of them. So yeah, Cable and Rompa Frolic both with one win, one tie, one loss. Uh, that is gonna put Rompa Frolic ahead because he is wait, wait a tie. I thought Rompa had beaten Shrike. No, no, no. Shrike beat Rompa Frolic, right? Did Ty Guy drop? No, he was just, he didn't want to play his match against God Hate Sweeps, apparently, because he thought he was going to lose. I, I wasn't totally sure what the deal was there. Anyway, yeah, so, so Cable and Rompa Frolic, uh, ended up tying in group stage, because they tied with each other, they both won one against Mask, they both lost one against Shrike. Uh, but Rompa Frolic does have the higher seed, so he will be the one who advances. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys next time.